Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I'll be doing an app review on the application called Zombieville USA. Now, Zombieville USA can be purchased from the App Store for only $2, and I'm about to review this game. I definitely uh, recommend you guys check it out because it is a really awesome game, and it's really addictive and fun, and you guys, you guys will see that in the video. So this isn't the uh, exact icon because I have a theme I believe is called see-through enabled. Um, so it'll look a little different, but anyways, that's not what matters. So we're going to open this application up right now. And the whole game is in landscape, so I'm going to switch my iPod touch to landscape mode. And we'll just adjust that a little bit. As you can see, we have kind of a scary music and a scream here. So it is, uh, as you can guess, a zombie game, so it has that scary orientation to it. And we're going to obviously touch to start the game. And then we have uh, something called New Game, Options, How to Play, and then Records um, for prior games. And we have more games here that's just uh, to get or check out more games made by the same de uh, developers. So as you can see here my records, I've killed 664 zombies, and I have um, got up to level 20. This morning I was a little bored, so I decided to play that. And then we have how to play. Um, that's just basically the tutorial for you guys. I'll guide you how to play. But if you watch the video, you basically get the essence of the game. You don't need to watch um, the tutorial video there. Uh, but it is interactive, so if you don't want to um, just use this uh, review and you want to use that too, uh, then you can do that. Then you have something called options. And uh, it has difficulty, lives, and controls. Uh, difficulty is obviously how difficult you want it to be. There's normal, insane, and easy. I said it's normal usually. Um, it's a bit of an easy game actually, so uh, you can set it to insane if you want a bit of a more challenge. Then of course lives when the zombies kill you if you want to spawn back on the same level or somewhere around there. Um, or you want to start over from the beginning, you can decide by having three, five, or one life. I like having it for three because five takes forever and one is too short I feel. And then you have this controls options here on um, how uh, you want to control the shooting and moving and everything. There's classic and new. Um, classic is how it was in the older updates. I actually like the new one a little bit more because I've gotten used to it. And you have these sound options here that you can play around with. And yeah, it's basically the options menu, guys. And now I'm just going to start a new game. Now you have a bunch of characters here. Uh, the default character is the survivor, and it gives you a little description about them. This specific character does not have any uh, special things about him, but if you read through, uh, this one uh, can steal a little bit more, but doesn't uh, really do anything when he hits it with a bat, and there's a ninja, the SWAT team person, and there's many of them, and you can read through their, um, you can read through their uh, cons and pros, I guess you could call it. Um, I've read through them, and I like the doctor the best, so I'm going to use the doctor, and I'm going to click go. And since I've already completed up to level 20, I can actually select what level I want to start from, which is something I really like about this new update. This game has actually been out for a while, so I'm doing kind of a late review, but you know, just decided to do it because it's better late than never. And then I'm going to click go. I'm just going to start from level 1 for now for this tutorial. And... From here, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to pause. Uh, we basically have this thing in the top uh, that's a picture of a bullet, and then we have a little number here that shows you how much more ammo you have left, so how much bullets. And if you were to click on the bullet, you could change weapons. I'm going to pause this. Um, if you clicked on the bullet, you'd be able to uh, change your weapons once you have a many when you accumulate them. Then the red bar right here, that is your health, obviously. So when those zombies come and attack you, uh, that decreases. And then you have this little money thing here of how much money. You get money when you go into houses and steal, as well as when you shoot the zombies, you get small amounts as well. And then you have a red and a green button. A green, a green button is the melee attack, or melee, whatever it is, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, but that's when you just hit someone with a bat or a weapon. And then you have the red, and that's when you actually shoot someone. So I'm going to unpause it. I'm really close to them, so I'm probably going to lose a lot of health now. All right. So, I got through those two zombies, and as you can see, I collected a small amount of money. And now I can just keep shooting through these guys. And uh, sometimes in these levels, you might get some kind of vehicle that you can uh, go through. And I'm just going to show you what you can do in a house first, though. Or actually, I went into the helicopter. So, all you can do is tap out of the helicopter, just tap on it, and you can come out. And basically, it's just typical. You can walk around. 
and shoot them on the levels you don't have the helicopter or vehicles. And if you want to go into a house, you can by tapping on the door. And the zombies can't kill you, they just walk by you. By you. So um, when the coast is clear, you can get out. And if you also saw those little pop up there that showed me I received some bullets or money, I kind of forget which one. And that's added to your inventory. Or your bullets. Because you run out of bullets, as you can see, I've exhausted a lot of my ammo already. And uh, I'm just going to finish this level with my helicopter. I was lucky I got the helicopter on this level. So I can finish it up fast and show you the rest of the game. And the level is clear. The levels do get harder as you progress. And when I walk through here at the end of each level, you have a, a, a choice of weapons and whether you want to upgrade your health and then your melee weapons. I only have $240, so I can't really buy any weapons. But if I wanted to purchase some health from here, I could do that. You get health as well when you go into the houses, and when you get ammo or money, you also receive some health. So I wouldn't recommend buying too much health unless you're completely low. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Once you buy weapons, you get more and more weapons. More and more weapons like machine guns, um, gas machines like chainsaws, and like flamethrowers, and stuff like that. It's actually a really addicting and fun game. And that's really it for this um, app review, guys. There's nothing more to this game. Uh, very simple concept, yet very addictive and fun. And a lot of guns to collect, which is also great. And if you were to die, I'll just let him kill me now. Alright, double team here. When I die, my head pops off and I fall. Now, since I have three lives, all I would do is spawn back on this level, I believe. Sometimes you might spawn a couple levels behind in the later levels, I've noticed. But anyways, now I have two lives left, so... If I were to die three times, I'd be brought back to the main menu, and I'd have to start over um, with uh, no score, no money. But as you can see from the beginning, I can pick my level. Alright guys, so that's basically it for this app review. I definitely um, recommend you check this app out. I really like it, and I'm sure a lot of you out there who um, are into like shooting games, it's a nice one for such a small platform like the iPod Touch or iPhone. I'm not exactly sure this works for the iPad. I would guess not, unless you have like full force on or something like that. Uh, even then, I'm not sure if Full Force from Cydia works on Zombieville. But anyways, guys, um, thank you guys for watching this review. Um, sorry that I haven't posted a jailbreak video in a while, or like a jailbreak um, related video in a while, but I do have some coming, as well as some other cool tech videos. Uh, if you did like this app review, please uh, like it down there by giving me a thumbs up. That really helps. And if you want to save it to your favorites, that's also much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribing up there will also uh, be great for me. And that's all I really have to say for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and being a subscriber, and I will see you guys later.